and welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com so on today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can actually get 60 frames per second recording off of your camera into obs so let's go ahead and see how we can do this welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com on this channel you'll learn how to be creative and i'll teach you the tools you need to create so be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this okay so if you're brand new to obs and specifically if you're brand new to using your camera as your main webcam then i do have an entire video on how to do this using a very inexpensive capture card that's less than $30. And so if you want to see how to do that, I will leave that in the description area below and you can check that out after watching this video. And so in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually record at 60 frames per second and then set that up in OBS as well if your camera supports it. Now, if you probably noticed, there's some display information on this particular recording and this is something that is really helpful if you want to show people how to do things and it also depends on the camera that you have now in this case i am using a panasonic g85 and so your menu options might be different but at least for me let me show you how i get this actually display information to show on my video and as you can probably see right now it's disappeared but i'm going to go ahead and go into my menu to show you at least where i do it on my camera and so if you bring up my menu, as you can probably see, I have my settings on there. And at least on my settings on my camera, if you go down here to, uh, there's like a display out or at least TV output. And it might take me a bit to get there. So let me find this out. And so as you can see on my particular camera, there's this thing called TV connection. And as you can see, there's a HD mi info display record and right now i have it on so that means whatever display or details that i have on my viewfinder it'll also show up on my recording which is really really helpful because that way i can show people how to do things without actually having to record it off of another camera recording my camera display and so if you do not have this option on your camera then it's going to be pretty difficult because at least for me i can't turn it on and off so that's the first thing. And then the second thing that you wanna do is obviously set this at 60 frames per second. Now, depending upon the camera that you have, there's a variety of ways you can get there. You could go directly into the menu as I just did, or uh, for some cameras, just like a secondary function. And so in this case, I'm gonna to go to a secondary function. I'm gonna go ahead and change this right now. So as you could probably see, I have a secondary function here and I'm able to choose a lot of different options. And so in this case, I'm able to choose the frame rates and also the resolution that I have. So at least on the Panasonic G85, it can shoot at 60 frames per second, but it's limited to 1080p. And so you definitely want to go ahead and change that to 60 frames per second. In this case, 60 frames per second and 1080p. So that's the very first thing that you need to do on your camera. So you're gonna have to go ahead and change your frame rate. And once you do that, we can now move over to OBS and see how we can set this up. For the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap, where you can get a domain for an entire year for less than $10, plus get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so now we're on my desktop and I have OBS open. And so all you need to do here under your profile is to go to settings and then go to video and then you need to make sure that you have the right common fps values so in this case my resolution is at 1080p and right here i have my common fps values and since i am recording with the obs right now i cannot change it but all you have to do is make sure that it is at the same frame rate as what you have in your camera so in this case 60 frames per second and then you'll go ahead and save your profile and that's it so whenever you record offer your camera into obs it will be recorded at 60 frames per second at the precise resolution that you chose at the beginning. And so this is a matchup with what you have. And that is all that you have to do to record 60 frames per second from your camera over to OBS. And so if you actually had any thoughts in this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my previous video on how to set up your camera as your main webcam within OBS, I'll leave that in the description area below as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. And if you're a creative geek like me, 
Now you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Goal Content Creators Group, where you're gonna get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Goal Content Creators Group.